Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of the Roblox Studio Beginner Builder Series. In the last video, we showed you guys how to spawn parts and how to edit their properties to make them look however you want. Today, we're going to be going over part tools, which are these four here, and grouping. So we'll start with grouping. We have our block we made in the last video. We're going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and then we'll use our part tool move to move it out the way. Now, if we hold Shift and grab both of these, we could do Ctrl G to group them together. Together. Now instead of moving just one, we can move them as a unit. Now to get into these tools, select, pretty self-explanatory, you select the part and you can drag it wherever you want, on top of stuff, and it will kind of snap to anything you drag it to. To get more in depth with moving, we'll select our move tool and now we can move it along certain axis. This is the local axis of the part or I guess of the model and we can change that by pressing Control L. Now as you can see the colors of the arrows change but that doesn't really demonstrate it good enough so let's go ahead and rotate the part and then go back to move and you can see that we are still moving along the local part axis. Whatever direction the part is facing is the direction we're going to be moving it. If we wanted to move it on the global axis, we would press Ctrl L and now it will be moving in whatever way the game is, if that makes sense. Anyways, Ctrl L is local and global axis shifting, I guess. Our scale tool here is just what it says. You can scale a part. If our part is not in a model and we want to scale it, it will only scale one side at a time. If you wanted to scale all of them, you can hold shift and select one of the little toggles to scale it. If you only want to affect one part inside of a model, if you hold alt and hover over that part, it will only select one thing inside the model instead of selecting the whole thing. And then our scale works just like we have one part. Once again, if you're selecting the whole model, it will scale the whole model. If you hold alt and select any part inside that model, you can focus directly on that. And it works with all of the tools. Rotate, scale, move, and select. Select. When you use the select tool in a model, you have to hold alt while you click on that part and then you can let go of alt and you can move it wherever you want. So with spawning in parts, knowing how to change their colors and textures and properties, and also knowing how to move and scale them, you should already be able to build something kind of decent. So let's go ahead and build a doorway. If you hold control while scaling, you will do the same thing to both sides. And let's go ahead and change this. We'll go brown. We can switch this to a wood. We don't need any reflectance on wood and definitely don't need any transparency. We can move this up and it will be our window in this door. And then we could do our control D to duplicate. And all we're doing guys is just scaling parts. There's another part and we'll get our last one, control D. And just like this, we have a door. Now, as you can see, some things don't perfectly line up. And that's why in the next episode, we are going to cover snapping and pivot points. But three episodes in, maybe 10 minutes of your time, we can already build stuff. I'll see you guys in episode four.